Shoo! I gotta let you guys know that beefcake jerky is live right now. We just restocked with over two times as much jerky as the first time. As you can see here, we've got all the bundles pre-packed all throughout here. We've got pallets and pallets and pallets of jerky right now linked down in the description down below. Go check it out, beefcakejerky.com. As you guys know, we've been selling out every single time. And so if you want some, now would be the time to get it. But we also have bigger and better bundles this time. If you guys missed out on those bundles last time, you basically get your jerky for free. The bundles are so big, the savings are even bigger. Right here, we've got the baby bundle. Right here, we've got the no BS bundle. It's got the exclusive no BS t-shirt plus a bucks knife. You got right here, this is the mega bundle. We call it the mega bundle because it's mega. You get eight packs of jerky, a hat, a hoodie, a t-shirt, sticker, 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 a knife, and a koozie. The savings on that one are $80 alone. You literally buy that. This is all basically free. All this jerky is free. You save $80 when you get it. And then we've got a brand new bundle. This is the Freedom Bundle. So not only do you get six packs of jerky and a koozie with a sticker, brand new t-shirt. What I'm wearing. Right there. Yeah, it's my favorite. Bands, he'll take the one off his back. One of you guys will get a lucky yep. one. So you've got another one right here. That is the Freedom Bundle. That is brand new. And then last but not least, these are super, super limited. Limited by like everything on that shelf. That's it. Okay, so you want to count them. There's like 40 or 50 of them. It's super limited. This right here is the limited edition Beefcake Jerky Crate. Okay, and inside is absolutely jam-packed filled with jerky. Not only will the box be signed, not only will the jerky be signed, but then you get a signed knife. Not one knife, but you get two knives. And then on top of that, you get a brand new belt, Banjo. It's, it's the coolest Can you model belt. that without clothes for these guys? Or really? No? I mean, I'll show them. I'll show them how, show them how the belt Look at this. Look at that. Snap. Quickest belt in the world. It's the most comfortable belt you've ever, ever worn. Plus, 10 packs of jerky. So exclusive crates, they're all gonna be signed, and one of them, one crate out of that box right there will have this. In fact, it'll be this one. So whoever gets this crate, one of you guys right now can go click the link down in the description and buy it. Well, if you get this golden ticket, there's only one of these in existence. You know, there's a little water stain mark. I think Lucy drooled on it. There's only one of one, so I know you can't recreate it, okay? If you get the golden ticket, we will send you 10 packs of our brand new unreleased flavor of jerky, okay? We haven't even announced what it is, and somebody's going to literally get 10 packs, and they're gonna be the first people on this planet to ever get them and try them. So, with that being said, everything we linked on the description, beefcakejerky.com, it is now live on the website. Like I said, stuff's gonna sell out. I would highly suggest getting a bundle because the jerky's practically free. With that being said, let's get back to the video. Shoo! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are headed to go pick up the next round of beefcake jerky. We're picking up pallets worth, okay? You guys saw last time, we got the old U-Haul, we kind of finessed it in there, couldn't really fit that much stuff in it. This time, we have ordered way more and a U-Haul was not sufficient, okay? So, I called my buddy Chase at Sid Dillon, which is where I get all my vehicles, and I said, hey, is there any chance that you've got a big monster big box truck that we could use to go pick up the jerky so we don't have to rent a like, U-Haul and make 69 different trips? And wa-bam! I don't know why he agreed to this, I'll be honest. This is the largest truck. I didn't know they made box trucks this big. It is, this is a, what is it, 6,500? It's got air brakes in it. I mean, this thing's, look at this sucker. This is, it's, look how tall that is. Look, look how tall, it's literally it's like just, it's like a semi. So we just pulled up to the Chevy dealership over here at Sid Dillon, and uh, he's like, keys are in it, have at it. And I was like, there's no way in hell. Three I can't, windshield wipers. Three, why, one, two, this thing's, I don't know why he agreed to this. I have no idea. All I gotta do is say huge shots to Dylan because now we get to load this thing up with beefcake jerky. We're gonna head weast and fill it full of pallets. This thing's actually dock height. So that way we can back it straight up, load it. Last time we had to like hand load it in with like a little forklift and a pallet jack and it took forever. This time should be quick, it should be easy. We back it up. I am not qualified for this. So I will be 100% transparent with you guys. Don't tell them I said that, okay? But this thing, I mean, look at the fuel tank on that son of a guy. Holy smokes. That's a unit. This is crazy. And so Banjo didn't come today because we thought we could only fit two people. Unfortunately, there was a little jump seat. So we could have had Banjo along, so we just sent him a text and said, well, you're missing out because we get to drive this sucker. It's, how look how big it is. It's literally like feet. a semi. So anyways, he tried to sit Dylan. Like I said, Chase hooked it up. He's like, yeah, I got exactly what you need to get all the jerky that you could possibly fit in this sucker. So we we're headed out. Pork is done, okay? Beef is going to be next. We're going to do it in two separate shipments uh, because we ordered so 
so much that you can only fit one protein per truck and beef is not done yet. We're letting it marinate just a little bit longer so it's a little extra smoky for you guys. Uh, but right now pork is done and I believe there's like four or five pallets of pork jerky. Again, way more than last time. So we're hopefully, fingers crossed, not gonna settle out in 69 seconds like last time. But anyways, that being said, we're gonna jump in the old big wagon here, the old jerky wagon, and uh, we're gonna give her a spin. It, this is something that we feel like we could use a lot Maybe we could work a deal and, and actually buy it. I, I, I love the borrow idea because then it doesn't actually cost me anything. But one idea we had is like, what if we had something like this and put a freaking wrap on it? And then we can take it to different locations around the country and do meet and greets and like just like a travel, like a tour bus instead of a box truck with, you know, not a whole lot of space, but plenty of space for the jerky. We could show, I said pop up, pop up jerky shops, okay? Because right now you can get it online, which is great, but we're gonna go pick it up. And although we're picking up right now, we're filming this a couple days ahead of our launch, the jerky is available right now. Link down in the description down below, bkjerky.com. Get yourself some merch, get yourself some bundles. Honestly, some of the bundles, if you buy the bundle, the jerky is free. You get super awesome apparel. Like, I think I'm wearing one of, the, one of these new shirts. Look oh, I'm wearing the same one. You like this shirt? You like this hat? Well, actually this hat sold out, but we have other hats that are just as cool. Anyways, they'll be linked down in the description down below. With that being said, let's get in this. I wanna, what's she sound like? I don't know. I bet she purrs, dude. She's got, dude, he literally, look at Look this. at how tall that is. He just left the, just gave the keys for you. Here it is. This guy's out of his mind. I don't know why he trusts me. Hasn't he seen, at least Banjo's not driving, right? True, he's dangerous. You, you think you can flip this thing? No. I see, yeah, Banjo would be all right He then. figured out. Oh yeah, let's see it. Dude, this thing's got freaking screen in here. This thing's freaking sick. Like oh, this is the old parking brake. Okay, I see what's going on here. Oh, there's a fire extinguisher. Thank God. There's uh, like six adjustments for your driver's seat. Really? Yeah. Look, you see that? What's look at that mirror? What are you seeing with that? I can't believe the three windshield wipers. Look at this. I've never seen that in my life. Okay, here we go. It sounds like a semi truck. It sounds like a school bus, dude. Oh my God. Okay. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut this real quick. See what the air brakes got this way. I always hear like semi. I don't know what air brakes are, by the way. Like, I think it, it's supposed to help you brake for like heavy vehicles, right? Is that how that I works? Agree. Oh, it sounded like a semi. Oh no! Holy <laughs> shit! This thing's huge. Oh my god. Right, you better act like you know what we're talking about here, talking about and driving, so I don't want to like. Seat. All the dealer guys are just looking at us like, does that kid know how to drive that thing? So we better just get in and go. This we are thing, so far this, away this from is, each this other. Is, <laughs> this is huge. This is the biggest freaking rig I've ever seen in my life. Dude, it just sounds like a, the air brakes are so sick. Makes you feel like dude, you're really Dude, look at this freaking wheel, dude. I need the freaking trucker knob. I think we need to stop and get one. Should we pick up a knob? I think we need to. This thing loaded down with jerky. This is the rig, buddy. You know? Oh my, dude, those stops on a dime, dude. Those air brakes are intense. Okay, all right. We're making the turn. Let's go. I don't know what any of these buttons do, but I'm just, as long as it keeps going straight. Get told us it's not automatic, you'll be all right. He says it's automatic, which is good. If it was, oh my God, if it was manual, we'd be, we'd be done for. There is, there's no, I mean, I know how to drive a manual. It's just, yeah, there's only so many things to think there about. There was here. a semi-truck you know? that just went by, and we're just as we're, tall. We're at the same <laughs> height. We're eye level with hey, Buddy. Dude, imagine. Oh. If we had, that would be so sick. We do need to grab some fuel, so we'll, we'll fill it up for Chase. I won't bring it back on an empty tank. That's not the right thing to do in these yeah. situations. So, all right. Let's see. You're making a turn. And there's a car. Okay. See, I feel like I'm just going to send it. I, oh, yeah. About ran him over. We're good. Look at this. Yeah, baby. <laughs> this is a big This thing. is awesome, dude. I wish Banjo was here, dang it. Hey, you got the little elbow rest, too? Just like, you I feel like, like I, a semi-truck driver. I feel like I'd be a trucker right now. All you need is like a gas station hot dog. Yes, yes, 100%. <laughs> All right, boys, we're in the truck. We're grabbing some fuel. Headed west, picking up the jerky. We'll see you guys there. Did not crash. Let's get this meat on the road. Yeah, this is nice in here. Look at this. 
no lights, but you don't need them. Yeah, this is slick. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna be loading all of it. Look at this. Sheesh. This is the life here, boys. I'll I'll be a truck driver if YouTube don't work out. There it is. The nectar, baby. Look out. Stand on this side. One of many pallets of pork jerky. I'm excited. Banjo's gonna meet us there. We're gonna get it unloaded. Get to packing these bundles. Get them ready for the big old release. That's already hopefully live right now. So, see you guys at the warehouse. Don't get out yet, boys. Beefcake Jerky HQ. Pulling up. Banjo's already here. He's gonna be on door duty. But we made her here safe and sound. I feel like I could drive a semi. You think? Yeah, this can't be that hard. Beep, 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 beep. Open the doors, Banjo. Is that pretty good? Yeah, I think you'll do it. Banjo approve of my driving. She's a little touchy. How do you like the rig? That's a big dog. She's big Sheila. Look at this. Dang, look at that driving. Not too bad. A little crooked, but hey, that'll work. This thing fits a lot of meat, by yeah, the way. Yeah, that'd be a lot of meat. Yeah. If the beef was done, I think we, we might have had it in one shot. Yeah. I think we could do it in one. That's a thing. lot of meat. Nice trailer. You like it? Truck. Yeah, yeah. You, got, you got the nice lights in yeah. here? Yeah. All right, ra Ready. raise this deck. Let's see it. There it is. Yeah. That's close. We, I, I think, think we got it. No guy. Oh, yeah. Look at that, that son. Okay. Sheesh, get the orange pal jacket. You gotta get one of those. Look at that. Ones. They had an electric one. Pretty nice. Yeah. That's the deal, eh? That, look, this is easy. This is way better than than doing what we did last time. You got a yeah. dropper. Oh, yeah, now give her a shot. That'll do it. Give her a shot. Yeah, this beats the garage. Yeah, yeah, this is a little better. This is a little nicer than my garage. The garage was nice, but this makes it a little bit more convenient. Wheel it on it. That's a lot of meat, that's Banjo. A lot of meat. That's, that, heavy. that's a heavy box of meat. You grabbed the biggest one first. I know. That's a lot of meat. That, that's well, the boys, deal. we made it. It's time to get everything unloaded and get to packing. You guys stay tuned. Look at all them boxes, boys. That is right. We got ourselves a conveyor belt, okay? Look at this sucker. Rolling it through. Knocked out all these. Not, I mean, look at that. So we get a board on it and try to see how long we can skate down it. Like a surf, like you run yeah. in a belly, yeah. belly slide. I feel like we should try that. Well, we got all most of the bundles pre-packaged. We still have to add beef to all of them, uh, but they're like 98% there. So, like I said, everything is available right now on the website. If you want to check it out, we got everything loaded up. This is ready to get shipped right to your doorstep. That being said, let's get back to the video. Shit! 
folks well that's right we are headed to the auction and our objective today okay last time bear with me we steered off course and we found the world's largest turkey that's not the goal today the goal today is to buy as many chickens as we possibly can i want to buy every single chicken at the auction today and load up our chicken coop back to where it was for a couple reasons one our egg production has been it's been okay but it's not any more than what i can eat and i've been eating a lot of eggs so i need to up the production plus i always like giving them out to everybody because they enjoy farm raised eggs way more than store by. That was reason number one. Reason number two is for the fly population. That is actually the number one reason why we got them last time. If you've got a bunch of chickens and little grub eating little suckers, they will go through and scratch and pick the larva out of the manure. And then it basically, it just decreases the fly population. That was actually the, the cow farmer. He gave us that tip that one day. Cause I was like, why well, you got 92 chickens? And he's like flies. And I was like, really? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, okay, sounds good. So that's the plan. The flies are getting bad out here, boys. Midsummer is getting bad. So we're going to go buy every single chicken we possibly can at the auction today but before that we got to go check on my girl she's she's missing her friend little but deborah wake up deborah come on debbie and also there you do you read the comments people thought we gave a uh, little too many little debbies and killed her no i said D listen we gave them donuts like off camera never so go go count it go count how many times I bet I can count on one hand how many times we gave the pigs sweets. We just did it for a video because it's really entertaining to watch. It's a great little treat for them. But oh my, all you guys are like, yeah, that's what you get for feeding your pigs donuts. You ever seen what a pig can eat, okay? There's no way that giving them a couple little honey buns, you know, like three a month is what made her die. There's no, I'm not, I ain't gonna listen to you guys, okay? I ain't having it. Come on, Deborah. Debbie, what's going on, Deborah? How's everything in your world, Deborah? You, you pregnant or are you just thick? How's that tongue doing? Why, why's your tongue sticking out? You having a good time, buddy? Hey, how's it going? What, why does your tongue look like that? She didn't bite your finger off. Hey, why does your tongue look like that? <laughs> She's like, hey, what, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, what do you got going on, buddy? I think there might there might be. Speaking of donuts, okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even going to give you guys the time of day. We did not kill Little by giving her too many sweets, okay? Like, all they had was pig food, minus, like, the very few times that we actually gave them sweets. Like, literally the only time we did it was on camera. Otherwise, we didn't do it. Because, obviously, it's not good for them. It's just, it's, it's a sweet treat. It's a little snack for them. That was the idea. So, you, you want a snack? Okay. Here you go. There you go. Good job, Big Dabby. Yeah, I know. You miss Little, don't you? But if you're pregnant, it's for the best, because then you guys don't have to sit, be there separated. Hey, right here. Yep. There it is, Deborah. Probably she, I would say, if she don't drop babies, I mean, if she don't drop babies in two weeks, then that means she probably just, in general, isn't pregnant. Yeah. So otherwise, like, everyone's like, oh, Flea, why don't you get the vet out here? What's the vet going to tell me? She's pregnant or not? It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. She's either here or she's, she's you know. Mm -hmm. It's not going to change what we do. She's either going to be dropping babies or not. All right, we'll give you one more. Otherwise, all the viewers are gonna are gonna say that eating some powdered donuts killed them. I think I can feel a heartbeat. Is that how that works? I feel a nipple. All right, Debra, you, you <laughs> hang in there, buddy. But they dug the biggest trench through this sucker. Holy smokes! What have you guys been doing in here? Do you see that trench? Oh my gosh, they got a hill up here. He bit me. Oh my gosh, you see the hole they got in the corner over there? Oh, what do you guys do? Look at this. What do you got? Look at this. They're trying to get up and under it. So that's why we put this, we buried this tin. You suckers would be just out on a honeymoon somewhere. That we didn't come check yet, check it out. You gonna let me pet you finally? No. Look at it. He's digging trying to escape, to. right? Where are you trying to go? China? Quit digging, damn it. Theo, I'm confused. Why are you guys dig like, dude, it's like they hit a tree root right here. I mean, they're gonna have to go and dig it up. That's, I mean, it's possible. Theo. Fill their hole with a scoop. I was gonna say, I'm about to freaking quit creep this son of a gun. Theo, quit digging, damn it. Why are you digging? Do I put a, a stick here? Say, hey, no go, buddy. I mean, that's pretty hard. That's pretty impressive, Theo. I'll give it to you, buddy. I'm not sure that's really doing a lot, to be honest with you. <laughs> but, but he's still digging. Hey, quit digging. I mean, you see, he went, like, he went around he here. He there the quarter and dug his way back because the pile like, of dirt. Dude, they're freaking, here. like, they're literally six inches below the bottom of this enclosure. Like, if we, seriously, if we did not dig this or put this, this tin in, it would be, it would be game over. Are you biting, are you biting shoes? He is. He's biting. Hey, why are you digging so much, pal? Sometimes they'll dig to stay cool, but this is, this is, like, cold. Uh -huh. You can't get, where are you, where are you trying to go? <laughs> they are, they are not happy with where they're at. They need a bigger pen or what? 
I don't know what to do. Like, they're not fighting. That's just it. If they're like one of, hey, 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 hey. If one of, dude, you come up to me and then get pissed when I try to pet you. Theo, don't do it. Well, we'll let them, I guess, dig their way through today and see what happens. This is crazy, though. Like, they tore, this whole thing was just grass. Hey, they, Theo, you guys calm down. There's nowhere else to be. Theo. Hey, hey, Theo. All right, we, yeah, I don't know. You guys, you rabbit breeders. I know there's some of you out there. Why are they trying to dig so much? Look at her, look at her. She's pulling that stick out. Look at her. She's pissed. Yep. Dude, it's both of them. It's both of them. Maybe she's going to lay her babies do down you, in that do little you think, nest in that hole, in that corner. Do you think she's trying to find a place to nest? Theo, do we need to separate you guys? Because I heard once the babies come out, Theo could potentially kill them, which would not obviously be ideal. But, like, dad. do you think, yeah, do you think she's trying to dig to get away from Theo so she can safely lay? Should we, should we repo Theo here? Put him back in there for a while? I feel like we might have to. Because she's, pi she's pissed. Buddy, I don't know why you're digging, but I think she's digging. Cause she's trying to get away from your ass. Come here, Theo. Theo, Theo, he's pissed. He don't want to go. <laughs> Theo, get over here. All right, Theo. He can definitely dig out of this one, so we'll have to keep an eye on him when we come back. Theo, I thought you were gonna chill with your girl, but that's that's the only thing I can think of. Like, why is she losing her godforsaken? She just moved my stick. God, she's throwing my stick. <laughs> she's literally just chucking my stick right now. She's pissed. All right, that's the only thing I can think of. Is she's looking for a place to so she can lay her babies without Theo because she knows Theo's he's just, he's gonna get after it still, and that's not good for anybody. So maybe she'll realize Theo's not here right now. I don't think she realizes it. She's kind of in a, like a little panicky dig. Why he's digging, I couldn't tell you that. No, he might just be digging because he sees her and he's like, all right, shot digging. I'm about it. Yeah, wherever you need, girl. You know, he's just trying to provide for his woman. All right, Theo, don't do anything I wouldn't do, pal. You got food. You got water. All right, comment down below. Do you think that's why? If so, we might have babies here shortly. Otherwise, I have no idea why all of a sudden. I mean, they've, we've had Theo for a month, two months probably. Two months. We've had her for a month. month, and they've been together for a full month, and they never started digging until like right now. And so I'm getting, from the time we introduce him, I guess a month, Coming up we're within a couple days, boys. If she got pregnant right when Theo started to get after it, there is a chance that she's going to have some babies here soon. So, anyways, you can see big boy Ralph, he's pissed. He wants some grain, so we're gonna go take care of him. Stay tuned. All right, let's get them what they're after, boys. Come on, who's that little fainting sucker? There he there is. He is. There he is. There he is. There go. You want direct deposit? Here you go. <laughs> there you go. Straight from the source. What you doing, big boy? How's the weather up there? The flies bothering you? We're gonna, we're gonna... Dale. You want some, Dale? Here. Here you go, Dale. Flies bothering you, Ralph. Oh yeah, they're on his leg. We're gonna fix that, damn it, all right? We're not gonna let these flies win. We're gonna get an army of chickens. Oh, here a, comes Romeo, look at him run. A militia of chickens, okay? SEAL Team 6 version of chickens. Yeah. They're gonna come in and just kick some fly ass, okay? Yeah, SEAL you see, he's kicking, them, he's kicking them flies. We're getting it fixed, pal, I promise. We're gonna buy every single frickin' egg-laying chicken they have there, okay? Typically, they have hundreds of them, so let's hope that they have at least that many. You think you think he's gonna faint? What's he doing, on, buddy? He is still dangling, isn't he? Oh, that's not the one that's got banned. So he is reproducing something. Easy, Carol, don't make him faint. Carol, better jump, jump. Okay, all right, or that. That's fine. Grundy. There it is, Ralph. You've been eating this. You've been acting real strange lately. All right, well, animals are fed. Everyone's hanging out. No fainters. Maybe we'll come back with the old the old air horn when we get the chickens. But speaking of chickens, let's go check out their coop. We, we should count how many we think we can, like, safely home. I mean, we mm -hmm. had, what, 40? Oh, we had more maybe than that. Fi maybe 50 last time? I think we had close to 50. So, we could see, usually, you can pack them in pretty tight. Why has this guy not moved yet? I don't know. Is he a statue now? He's on guard. I, I, didn't he was, I didn't know if he was on guard or what. Hey, no one's home. Let's go. All right, three eggs, four, four. Okay, so for sleeping-wise, okay, probably fit. But this could be equal to one chicken. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, twelve, eighteen, forty. We could potentially. We could literally just add more across. I was gonna these. say maybe we just need to put a couple of a bar, a bar here and a bar there. 
that would support at least fifty. Oh, I think easily. we can. I think we can safely buy fifty. Mm-hmm. And they they figured out. Half I mean, them white ones just live. Outside. I was gonna say they most of them didn't sleep in here. To be honest, I mean we we want them to. And when we get them today, we're gonna put them in here and lock them in here for a few days so they understand this is home. Don't leave or the raccoons will kill you. That's the plan. We'll see you guys at the auction. Shoo! All right, boys. Well, we ran a little bit late. As you can tell, it's raining out here. We couldn't freaking see as we were driving, so we had to take her nice and slow. Uh, but yeah, we are going to get a little bit damp. So we're going to head in. Hopefully, they have yet to sell the chickens that are inside. I would prefer to sit inside and buy our chickens. Look at get, get that. See, I, I made the right move. We got the old boots today. I, I, I just, I sensed it. My right. Really? Gonna get a, we're going to get a NATO over here or what? All right, boys. Well, like I said, fingers crossed. They still got some chickens. See you guys inside. Whew. All right, we made it. We are inside. Look at this sucker. What's going on here? I said we get him. I like that I, he's guy. He's got a little blue beak. You see that? They thing? don't have that many birds, so there's... Everyone here is going to be pissed, I'll be honest, because we're about to buy every single one. I'm going to at least try. Should we, should we set a cap, like a money cap per bird, where it's like if somebody really wants it, or should we... Ten, you think 10, 10 bucks a bird? If we bought 50, that's $500. Do you think there's even 50 hens in here now? It's gotta be close. There's this whole wall here, and there's only a couple right over there. How pissed is everyone gonna be if I buy every single one? Are they gonna be really mad? I'm not trying to piss anyone off, but at the same time, it'd be kind of funny to see what happens. I mean, I won't buy the roosters. We don't need any roosters, maybe one. Oh, here he comes. Is he coming? You're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to start just buy 10, 10 bucks is our cab. You think? Yeah. If it's over ten dollars per bird, go that, that gives us a five hundred dollar chicken budget. All right, we better get up there. We better get in the action, boys. It's about to get interesting. Oh god, here we go. Oh, Four three one. Four three one. Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea what I spot. I think they're hats. Yeah, I blew the budget there, buddy. Yeah, you we had to do what we had to do. I gotta take them all. Yeah, I'll take them all. <laughs> Sorry, everybody else. Hey, I paid 21 bucks, all right? You got screwed. I got screwed, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, now it's really raining. Five more hens. I think at this point we should just take them anyhow. Yeah, yeah, get them all. Twenty dollars again. Oh, you mean that's a player's buck? Three and a half. All right, we took it. Let's go. Bought every chicken at the auction. Everyone's pissed. We better get out of here. We didn't come prepared for this. <laughs> look, look at you. <laughs> I'm wet. So we uh, we got the truck. We got a kennel here. We're gonna see how many. Fit. Luckily, a lot of these are pretty small. We should be able to fit almost all of them in here. We're gonna get them loaded up. You guys stay tuned. Folks, I'm damp, boys. Look at this. I'm not even damp. I'm just wet. <laughs> this is just water. Well, we got them in the back. They're gonna get a nice car wash before we get there. That's all we could really do. I didn't know it was supposed to rain. So, anyways, we got uh, as many, hopefully, egg-laying birds that they had. Pissed everybody off. But the good news is, some of these, uh, I call it the breed, I guess, is uh, unique. We've got some birds we've never owned before. So we're gonna get back and get them acclimated in the coop. We'll show you guys what we got. Stay tuned. Shoo! All right, muddy mess. I'm wet and it's still raining. Look at that sucker. All right. So, yeah, everybody's in the... There they are. They're, oh, there's the turkeys waking up. They are all right there. That's wild. Huh. Those white chickens... Not in they there? They're not even in here. No they're way. Somewhere. <laughs> they're not even in here. So, yeah, they're in the trees. So, like, that's what's interesting is the, the chickens that did survive, they they just... They, they lay and then they go sleep in the woods, which, honestly, is kind of a good deal because they don't have to clip their poop. And they don't, and they don't die. They don't, don't literally don't die because they they they're nimble little suckers. They fly in the trees. These guys, on the other hand, I'm not too sure about. So they got a little damp. You all be all right. You'll you'll make it work. We have yet to get a count on them. We're gonna get them unloaded, 
And I need to, uh, I need to block that door off as well, just to make sure. Actually, I could probably use this thing for right now. Just make sure nobody gets any ideas. That'll work. We should, maybe let's just bring the, the yeah, let's just bring the crate in. Hang on. Well, that's all they had today. I was actually probably hoping for a little bit more, but you guys gonna dry off in here? We got fresh fluff for you. I know it was a little damp ride. <laughs> Silky looks funny. <laughs> I apologize for the damp ride. Look at this little sucker. He's small. You ain't gonna be laying nothing for this year, huh? He's tiny. I wish. See, that's the thing is, a lot of it was kind of. Sight unseen. I couldn't see the birds that we were bidding because everybody's huddled around together. So that dry still, off, buddy. That one still peeps. Yeah, he that <laughs> he's just a little guy. We got a silky, which we've never had before. He hangs out. He's a cool looking guy. When he's dry. You're all right. Yeah, he's really fluffy when he's dry. Dry off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Go do something. Come on. You got it. You got it. I promise. Yeah, wake up. Everybody wake up. Hey, wake up. Those suckers are cool. Like, literally yeah. everything. Like, the mohawk, the little cheek thing, the little dongle thing, the beak. It's just blacked out. Well, I would guess half of these look like they are ready to lay eggs. Half might be a little young, kind of just depending on what, what goes on. But, I mean, yeah, we need to do a count. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 20, at least 23. Oh, 24. I'd say 25. So about half, half of what I think we could probably fit in here. But considering that's the only laying hens that they had, take what we can get. So let's get the rest of these guys out. Come on. Ow! Oh! He son of a gun! Hey! Look at that sucker. Come on. Come on. You got it. But you're not even on a ledge. He actually's about to fall in the Grand Canyon. Get down. <laughs> Look at him. It's crazy looking. I know it. You guys are damp. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> That's got, a bigger one there. That, that, you should lay some eggs pretty quick here. You got it. Yeah, you see everybody else, the way they're doing it? Come on. There you go. Come on, you got his wings clipped. Clipped? Rip. He ain't go. That's a crane going nowhere. Yeah. Rip. You got eight. Hey. That was aggressive. I got pepper on that one, did you? Come on. Look that at was cool. Look at everybody else. Big white one. That's a big fluffy guy. Big fluffy. Come on. Come on. There. They all made it. There. No. You gotta jump on him. Get out. Oh, thank God. All right. Look at that herd. <laughs> They're already scratched. The herd is strong. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give you a quick tour. It's where you lay them eggs, okay? Keep it up. We, we went as many as many eggs as we can get. This thing, filled with feed, okay? Just for simplicity, I'll go ahead and just give you guys a little free action. That way it's not hard for you to find some. But the rest of it will be right here. So we'll put it in front of the little deposit doors. Then they get close, they'll see the rest of it. Water's water. Pretty self-explanatory. Any questions? All right, we'll see you eating eggs in the morning. Stay tuned. Shoo! All righty, folks. Well, it's the next day, and it is time to let them chickens loose, baby. You know what I'm saying? Why do we have you? Why are they here? I think catch and cook. You, you, you got, tell me. You, you guys tell me. Catch and cook or no? I've heard they're phenomenally tasty. They also don't lay eggs, so it's like yeah, I feel like they're they're not really worth a whole lot. So what's going on here? Why you got so many goats? Is that turkey? Can I help you? What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> Romeo, you're gonna faint, Romeo. How you doing back there, buddy? Ralphie, I'm gonna let out some chickens. Hopefully, Ralph don't curb stomp them. So we're gonna let them out into this pasture, help with the flies, and we're gonna see if they laid eggs. So if you remember, we had three or four eggs. We've since harvested them, because I was like, I don't want them, I want them to see that's where they lay eggs, or I don't want to get confused. And then the other reason why we gotta let these guys out is because our old chickens have not been able to go in. And so that's also part of the problem. So if there's any eggs inside, then that means these guys are laying. All right, you guys ready? Hey, oh look, you guys aren't damp. You're nice and dry. Look, hold my, look how fluffy this son of a gun got. Hang on, I don't want them to get out. Look at this fluffy guy. 
What in this? What? Why do you look like that? Why is he so? He looks like a little poodle or something. That guy's crazy. All right, so egg wise, I don't see any. Oh, there's a broken. Hang on now, that ain't good. There's a broken egg in there. Which one of you broke the egg? That if any of you are egg eaters, you're getting straight to the fryer. We don't have any tolerance for egg eating, okay? So, um, my hope is that our older chickens will come back um, and kind of teach these guys how to lay. So there's there's one, but it's broken. So I said, if any of them are egg eaters, they're straight to the fryer. We ain't putting up with that. But do you see this? Look at the silky guy. Hang on, should I try grabbing this yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. He looks like a little. You ever watch some dog? Oh my god! You ever watch some you, dog shows? You see that hey, Ralph. You ever watch some dog shows where like they get yeah, all the poodle? Uh -huh. He looks like he should be in one of those. Come here, Junior. Come here, Junior. Come here, buddy. Don't bite. Oh my god. Dude, look how fluffy this thing is. He got all wet and now he's just fluffed up. I think this thing's gonna lay blue eggs because then. I know, he's got his little blue ears. The thing is. Blue. What's going on up there? But hey! No. Alright, you, you ready? You wanna get let out here? Dude, he's so soft. Yeah. Dude. What are you guys doing? Oh, we got the chickens now. You guys like, Flea, what are you getting more chickens? We got them now. Now we gotta get him out the door. Alright, come on, come on. Get out the door. Yeah, you see this one broken egg? No, where's that sucker? Shattered. Grab it. Let Check grab it. Oh, yeah. You got an eater in here? Freshly well, I can tell you that's one of them because our chickens don't lay brown eggs. No. They're all white ones. Hmm. Which one of you did it? I'm going to chop your head off right now. Yeah, I don't know who did it, so we'll have to figure it out later. All right, how do we get these guys? How do we convince I, them? I like these guys' feet. You see those? You like them? Hey. Come on, come on. Get out the door, get out the door. <laughs> There's a rooster up there. Get out, get out the door. Come on. Come on, come on. Get out the door. Get out, you see the door? Does someone, need, someone needs to show you the door here. We need a little funnel here. Look. This isn't going well. Get out the door. Oh, think about it, think about it, think about it. He's thinking about it. He's looking left, he's looking right. He's thinking about it. Get out the door. This is going they, well. They don't like this. Why don't you get out the door? All right, you. That one doesn't run away. Yeah, no, I like this guy. He's chill. All right, you got it. Show, show the rest how it's done. Show him how it's done. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. This looks like a giant cock Dude, ball. he's just... No, go ahead. You got it. Go do something. Do you see the door? You'll figure it out eventually. Come here. You guys have to leave the coop at some point. You realize that, right? <laughs> These suckers are quick. Hey, it's gonna be all right. Look, see this door? Now come back. See, he's hey, got hey, it. Hey, all hey, right, he you, you got. You gonna tell the rest or no? All right. Well, we'll see if the rest figure it out. I guess. I'm not going to sit here and chase him all day long. At least he knows he can get out. I just want to make sure they know where their food and water is. Now that you got 24 hours under their belt of food and water, I feel like they're not going to run away. Hopefully they know how to come back. The bad news is our current chickens don't sleep in here. Mm -hmm. So if these guys don't figure out how to come back, they're all going to get KO'd by raccoons. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We did, in fact, buy every chicken at the auction. It wasn't even as many chickens as I thought. We did infuriate a few people there. We overpaid. It was like 570 bucks, by the way. Brutal. So if you guys don't start laying eggs, a lot of catch we got to start doing something with them. Because that's that's like three times as much as I should have paid for them. But I promised you guys I'd buy every single one. And they're also cool. They're chickens we've never had before. The silkies are cool. The little fluffy hand guys are pretty sweet. So let me know. Is this is this enough? Or do we need more? I feel like we might need more. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, we'll catch you in peace. Oh, yeah, wait. Beefcake jerky is now live, in case you guys, if you made it to this part of the video, it's probably sold out, but in case it's not, link down in the description. Anyways, catch you next one, and peace.